D. H. Lawrence's poem "Money Madness" is a simple poem which deals with the materialistic perspective of his fellow human beings. The poem was originally published in 1912, and it shows how money separates people from each other and how its absence terrifies them. Money, according to the poet, is the object of our madness. Each and every individual is mad after money. So he has referred to this madness as vast collective madness. This madness is on a large scale, and no one seems to remain untouched by it. He explains that if many people are mad, how can an individual not get affected? Each person. carries the grain or seed of insanity and madness with him which in turn makes the whole world a pathway of lust for money in the next few lines the poet has shown man's fear of losing money he has made use of words like pang tremor quail grovel terror to explain his point of view he says that if a man gives a 1 pound note he feels pain and this pain becomes a shocking tremor of an earthquake if he has to part with a 10 pound note more the money a person has to give more is his anxiety and sadness the poet says that money has the power to bring us down money has the power to force us to be submissive money has the power to make us fall on our feet he has referred to money as being powerful and this power of money is fearful and cruel however the poet also knows the importance of money he knows that without money a person would have to die of insult and humiliation and would have to face discrimination so he says money does not create fear but it is the madness for money which is loathsome The poet has pointed that man is judged by the money he has. Money today is considered as the mark of significance and importance in society. If a person is poor and has no money, he will have to suffer discrimination, disrespect and treated with indignity. The society he feels does not spare the poor. A person with no money is neither allowed to live nor die rich people will give the poor bread to eat or throw at them the bread but the poor has to get this bread at the cost of one self respect dignity and honor so the poet is afraid of this discrimination he has stated that fear of money madness can lead to a state of delirium a state of mind wherein a person with no money can become restless disturbed intoxicated with indignity and suffer from low self esteem emphatically therefore the poet says money is important we must have money we should have money if we want to save ourselves from insult we should earn money The poet believes that every person irrespective of his condition has the right to get food home warmth and freedom until that happens we will continue to be puppets in the hands of money and material things ultimately in the final lines the poet has warned that if we do not become sensible the day is not far off when the world will burn with hatred jealousy insanity killings suffering and death so it is up to us to choose perpetual living or continual ruin